today's theme is snow. Today, we are going to read Dream Snow by Eric Carle. On a small farm, there lived a farmer. He only had a few animals. He could count them on the fingers of one hand. So, the farmer named his animals one, two, three, four, and five. By the end of the barn stood a small tree. The farmer named it Tree. Hello, Tree, he would say when he passed it. The farmer took good care of one, two, three, four, and five. Every day, he fed them and cleaned their stalls. In the evening, when his farm work was done, he went to his house. Then he sat in his favorite chair, drank a cup of hot peppermint tea, and ate a slice of bread with honey on it. One night, as he sat there, the farmer felt very cozy and a bit tired. Heavens, he said, yawning. It's almost Christmas and it hasn't snowed yet. With that, he fell asleep. Soon, he dreamed of falling snowflakes. They gently covered him with a white blanket. Look! It's the farmer, asleep in his favorite chair. The snowflakes gently covered one with a white blanket. Let's see. This is one. It looks like he's a horse. The snowflakes gently covered two with a white blanket. Look, it's two, and she's a very cute cow. The snowflakes gently covered three with a white blanket. Now who do we think is under this white blanket? Look, it's three, and three is a sheep. The snowflakes gently covered four with a white blanket. Now, who do you think is under this one? It's four, and four is a big pig. The snowflakes gently covered five with a white blanket. It's five, and he's a rooster. The farmer woke up from his dream, looked out of his window, and saw snow. It was not dream snow, it was real snow. It had snowed while he had napped. Now, the snow clouds had moved away. The moon and stars sparkled in the wintry night sky. One, two, three, four, and five were safe and fast asleep. Oh my, oh my, cried the farmer. I almost forgot. Quickly, he put on his warm coat 
his warm boots, his warm hat, and his warm gloves. He grabbed a box, slung a sack over his shoulder, and dashed outside. Running past one, two, three, four, and five, the farmer shouted, I almost forgot! I almost forgot! Waking up the animals, they looked and wondered what the farmer was up to now. They watched as he unpacked the box and emptied the sack. One, two, three, four, and five watched as he decorated tree. Then he shouted, Merry Christmas to all, and pushed the button. Shall we push the button together? Thank you for reading along with me today. It's puppy time. Today, we'll be meeting a white sheep. From the book, Dream Snow by Eric Carle. This is a white sheep. And this is a black sheep. Let me teach you how to walk him. Really? You're gonna take one hand there, great, and your other one right over there so you can move its head and walk it around. Ah. Oh, that's very good. Ah. Ah. Hi, welcome to the world of Eric Carl. I'm Renee. I'm Vicky. I'm Marin. And I'm Naraya. And today, the theme is snowflakes. And our craft today is themed after Eric Carl's dream snow. So we are going to be making our very own snowflakes. We need paper. Very good. And we need tissue paper. And we need scissors. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to practice our shapes. So we're going to use any kind of paper that you have at home. And we're going to take that paper and we're going to fold it in half. Like this. Very good. All right, so let's take our paper and we are gonna cut on the folded side. So for example, let's all cut a square really quick and yeah. just show our friends at home what that looks like just to start us off. Okay. And once we're done with that square, let's open it up. You can make a big square, a small square. I made a tiny square, but like it doesn't look like a square, but I like the way it actually looks. I love that. So you'll notice that the shapes are symmetrical. So that means if you cut a line down it, both sides look the same. We know. <laughs> 
All right, let's fold that back over and let's make some fun shapes. You can make squares, you can make triangles, you can make hearts, you can make like, long lines, little diamonds. These are great shapes. I think we're ready to make snowflakes. Okay, let's pick our tissue paper. Now, we are using tissue paper that's already been painted in the Eric Carl style, but yes. you can use any paper or any tissue paper that you have at home. So you're gonna wanna make sure that it's a square, so that way it's yeah. even when you fold it. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna put our papers down, and the first thing we're gonna do is fold it on the diagonal, so that's corner to corner. Okay. A, little, a little triangle, right? Yes. Yeah. Like a pizza. Oh, mm -hmm. like a pizza slice. Okay. Very good. Good job. And now we're gonna fold it again, this corner to this corner, and make a smaller triangle. The next part is the hardest part. Yes. We are going to fold it into thirds. So you are going to take a third of it. So like this is a third. We have two thirds on this side. Fold it so that that way the bottom of it Perfect. is connected like that and the other part's gonna kinda drift off to the top. Perfect, and then we're just gonna fold this part over. Yeah, beautiful, oh, that's yeah. excellent. And now we're just gonna take the extra part and fold it over. All right, so now we are gonna cut off the excess. So now it's time to to our shape. So you can yeah. cut down this side or cut down this side and choose any shapes that yeah. you would like. So what I'm gonna probably start off doing is like a square and then like a heart next to it. Ooh, Ooh I'm like gonna that. start with triangles. Ooh, I like, I'll do circles. Circles, very nice. I've got a heart going. I'm gonna do some triangles. So what's your favorite thing to do in the snow? Um, I like to go sledding. That is my favorite. Ooh, sledding is fun. I like to catch a snowflake on my tongue. That's really fun. I love that. that. And I love going inside and drinking hot cocoa. Oh. I'm in the snow. Hot oh. cocoa is delicious. So I'm going to do some uh, like big triangles that'll kind of look like diamonds once they unfold. Oh, wow. Let's make sure we get them on the both sides of your paper. So let's uh, let's do like three more shapes. Does that sound good, everyone? Yeah. Yes. And then we can reveal our snowflakes. And I bet your snowflakes are looking great at home. Again, there's really no rules to this project. You can make your yeah. shapes as big or as small as you want and cut them all over the place because it always creates a really cool pattern. Is everyone are ready? ready? Yeah. A big reveal? All right, yeah. let's unfold our snowflakes. You two at home. goodness, those are so cool. And you know what? All of our snowflakes all look so different. They're all individuals. I like the middle of this because it looks like a snowflake in the snowflake. Yeah. yeah. You're so right. The snowflakes is... look so great. Yeah. <laughs> we had so much fun making snowflakes with you today. Yeah. We hope you had as much fun as we did. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you had fun. See you next time.